In the early 1960s, Bhutan's feudal ways began to change. With uncommon foresight, King Jigme Wanchuk, father of the present king, saw that modern education and roads were crucial to bringing the country's nine major valleys and their people into the 20th century. In organizing the first of several five-year plans, it became then a question of not when schools would come, but rather who would help develop the infant modern educational system without interfering with Bhutan's sacred values of Buddhism and unique cultural identity. Surprisingly, the king's prime minister found such a person in the mountains to the west, in India. His name was William Mackey, Father William Mackey to be precise. He's a Jesuit priest, native of Montreal, and a veteran teacher and headmaster for 17 years in the Darjeeling district. Many of the Bhutanese royal family had been educated there, and he was known and respected for his teaching and administrative talents, as well as for his appreciation of Asian religion and culture. The third king decided to set up English medium schools, and I was called in for that. After advancing the Tashigang Primary School to high school level, the first in the country, Father Mackey then moved on to Kalung to begin the Shirupsi Public School. For the next 10 years, Father Mackey, who was then in his 50s, labored to develop the new and ever-growing school, adding a class level each year. Formerly, students attending schools in each valley had to come on foot over the mountains, a three and four day journey. They brought their own rice, which they cooked themselves, and then had to return home for more when it ran out. With Shirupsi, their studies were no longer interrupted. Through a government grant, the school was able to provide students with their food free of charge. After raising Shirupsi Public School to a junior college, Father Mackey then moved down the road to Calling and started all over again with a new school. For 20 years altogether, he toiled in the eastern part of Bhutan, where he became famous for his gymnastic and drill teams, basketball and soccer teams, his unique ways of teaching mathematics, and his constant good cheer. His deep love for the Bhutanese and his respect for Buddhism made him a legend. The young king, whom he had once tutored, consulted him on matters educational, as his father had done before him. In 1983, at the age of 67, Father Mackey left the east of Bhutan and moved to Timpu, the capital. And after 20 years in the east, the department figured I had done enough damage and suggested I would come across to um, the west as education advisor. Then I picked up a triple portfolio. I was inspector of schools. I was the coordinator of the syllabus and curriculum development and in charge of the Bhutan uh, examinations. Love and appreciation came to this remarkable man regularly over the years. In 1973, the present king, King Jigme Singye Wanchuk bestowed upon Father Mackey the highest honor the country has ever conferred on a foreigner, with a gold medal inscribed Spiritual Son of Bhutan. The king also granted Father Bhutanese citizenship in 1985 and in 1994 appointed him honorary advisor to education for life. The love of the people for the man was shown to him on his 75th birthday 
by Bhutanese reckoning in August of 1989. In his 32 years in Bhutan, Bill Mackey gave much thought to the progress of the entire country and the effects of modern education on the people. The education system is a very solid one. When we compare uh, what they're doing in other countries, we can be quite proud. And Father Mackey counted heavily on that Buddhist background to keep Bhutan on an even keel as it struggles with the open seas of modernization. Now if you see two old ladies coming here, they respectfully saying their prayers for all of us, I think with their prayers, Bhutan will be able to face the future uh, knowing that we are very conscious of the importance of religion. And if you can hold on to that, I think we'll be able to control our culture. When I look at my life in India, my life here in um, Bhutan, 17 years in India, 30 years in Bhutan, I look back at my life as a Christian, as a priest, as a Jesuit, and I find that I'm a much better priest, Jesuit, Catholic, because of 40 seven years of contact with non-Christian religions and that has given me a broadening, uh, another way of looking at it, a much deeper appreciation of my own faith because their way of looking at religion has helped me tremendously to get a better grasp of my own faith. And the same thing with that candle. That candle burns. We burn out our life in helping people, and encouraging people, building up, and that burning out gives light, which we hope to do through education, but also gives light to all around us and brightens, enlightens, and also warms. <laughs> For posterity. For posterity, that's what I'm Better wait until I get this phone. Hello, Father Mikey speaking. Yeah, busy? Still busy? Father William Mackey passed away in October of 1995 at the age of 80. His death was acknowledged by a grateful people who crowded the field surrounding his house for two days, royalty and commoner, monk and lay, old and young alike. <laughs>